What is going on guys, Cap Zero here, uh, bringing you a Lux gameplay, and this is different, it's not just Lux gameplay, Lux is my favorite champion, by far, although I haven't played her much lately, because I'm a bit uh, tired of her, uh, but still, she's probably my best champion, but this is something different, this is Earth, ultra fucking rapid fire, I put the F in right there, or uh, Earther, ultra rap. I don't know, ultra rapid fucking, f f yeah, all earth, earth, f yeah, two Fs, ultra rapid fucking fire. That's right. Uh, but I'm playing versus Galio, which is probably the best champion in this fucking mode. Look at this. I'm just constantly spamming him with my, my abilities, hitting my Q, hitting my E, hitting my passive auto attacks. Look at that. He just stays at fucking half HP all the time. Like. I can't touch him. My HP goes down. I've got a, sh a shield as well, but you know my HP goes down all the time. Although I keep shielding myself, his uh, health just stays there all fucking game. It's impossible, literally impossible. And uh, so I, uh, I don't really know what to do. It's kind of stupid that we don't um, let Jinx come mid and I I go bot instead. Because this ain't working, he's got that shield uh, unlimited. And the thing with Galio, you know, he gets damage from having defensiveness. You know, he gets that. Look at this, I'm gonna get him here, uh, thanks to my Ignite, because uh, that does true damage. I actually picked Ignite instead of Teleport, uh, which is stupid as well, but um, this is one of my first Earth games, so I forgot to switch. Uh, from the ignite that I used in a normal game. Um, yeah, Galio, you know, he builds magic resist and he does more AP thanks to that. Uh, or he does more AP damage thanks to that. And in Earth, it's it's just so OP. Tankiness with, you know, you know the best things in Earth is probably CC and tankiness, to be honest. Uh, you might think the damage dealers are the best ones. Yeah, kind of, you know, Lux is really good, Needle is really good. If you got range, it's good. But, 80 carries usually, they aren't that good, they're just damage, you know. Uh, you might think that, oh, I can spam Lucian's Q and it's gonna be so OP, but really it's not that OP. Esril, yeah, kind of, but not, not like other 80 carries. Um, so... <clears throat> So I've been trying some champs in this uh, awesome new game mode. Uh, I've just been, you know, spamming uh, my match history with these games because it's just so much fun. Uh, but I've been playing like three champs only, and that's Needly, Hecarim a few times, and then Lux a couple of times. Uh, might have tried something else. I can't remember, but it's just so fun. Lux is beast champion I mean you got that constant shield basically like you can shield all the time because it it's it's a double shield you throw it out it's a shield it comes back it's a shield again and when it comes back you know you've got it back from the cooldown oops my I just dropped my mic pop filter if you know what that is look at that kill on set holy shit that was nasty um, but uh, yeah, you got you get it back from cooldown um, all the time, so it's a constant shield. You got that long range, so you can spam your E's. You got that Q for awesome CC, and you have your ult, of course, with a 10 second cooldown, which is awesome. I'm gonna kill Set. He's gonna kill me uh, right here. So you're gonna have to leave me a comment and t tell me what is the best way to play Earth. What is the best champion? I'm probably this is probably gonna be one of my last uh, games. Uh, this is a pretty old game. Uh, I've played quite many games. Not an old game, but I've played many games after this. Uh, but uh, you're gonna. I, this is probably gonna be one of my last since, or when I record this commentary, I'm not gonna play much Earth after that because I'm going to Norway. And then when I come back, I guess they have disabled Earth, which is kind of sad. I think they should keep it. I don't. I don't see why they don't. Why they don't keep it? I mean, look at that. I don't do any damage. It's insane. Uh, Maka and Lee Sin is gonna come here. They're gonna get away from my uh, CC. 
Uh, Pantheon is going to come in for a little bit of help. Not going to do much. And we're going to force a fight. Uh, or we're going to start a fight uh, with uh, Jace right here. He's trying to shoot his uh, balls. That sounded wrong, but whatever. And we're going to win a team fight right here. And then you're going to see a little funny moment, me and Jinx. Uh, we're going to try to get this kill at mid. Check this out. This is this is pretty cool. I'm gonna. She's going to throw her ult down at Lee Sin recalling. And I'm going to throw my Q. Going to see who gets the kill. Ooh, I got it. Damn, that was close. She could have gotten it. What a bitch. Try to steal my kill. You ain't doing that. Uh, but we're gonna have after that, you know, we're trying to fi fighting for that kill. Um, but we're actually gonna be able to cooperate. For example, there she throws her ult and does a little bit of damage, and now she's actually gonna do another one, and <laughs> she's gonna get the kill right there. So that's good co cooperation because she saved my life, and now she's gonna throw a third ult in a row down there, and I'm gonna be able to use my E. That's just insane, like three ults right off of the cooldown because that was really fast. And it helped us get three kills, that was amazing and saved my life. life. Um, yeah, I mentioned that earlier, but you should totally uh, leave a comment. What do you think is the best champion in nerf? Um, in my opinion, it's Needly, Lux, and Hecarim. Uh, and those are the only ones I play. Um, I feel like the worst one is probably Vayne, like seriously, most of her damage, most of her great damage, which is like her true damage, uh, from her comes from her W, and the point with this game mode is that you don't have cooldowns and the W is a passive, so, and you know, you don't need cooldown reduction on a passive ability that, you know, is on all the time. So, um, Vayne seems kind of useless, her Q, yeah, she she can already spam that pretty well in, um, <clears throat> it already in normal games, but, uh, I don't know, and then her E, well, I don't, it's, it's a stun, but she needs a wall to do it, and then her ult, like, it, it's completely useless, Vayne is probably the stupidest champion earth. Uh, the best ones are the ones with range, and... CC and tankiness, I guess. Like, Sejuan is really good, but tell me what is the best. Might be a tactic as well. If you have any good tactics to use on Earth, my favorite is probably uh, play Hecarim. Go with uh, the boots of mobility. Get an early. What is it called? Uh, damn it. Boots. Uh, get early home guard. And then teleport and just run at your enemy, one shot them, turret dive them, whatever, flash out, get a kill, repeat. You know, that's fun. And uh, yeah, so we're pushing up the mid lane base right here. I'm probably gonna post some more Earth commentaries if you want to. I have some more games, I could do that. Uh, I could save some gameplays from uh, 2 when I get back from Norway. Because uh, I'm gonna be there in 4 days. Check this out, I'm gonna kill Sad, probably, yeah. Gonna get him? Yep, dead. So yeah, did you guys find any Easter eggs with the chocolate chickens in them? In Easter, you know, because I'm eating one right now. And it's delicious. It's really nice. You can leave something in the comments below if you if you found something delicious in your egg. If you found any, you know. So back to the game. Um, this guy is pushing bot. Needle is pushing bot, and I'm just minding my own business in the in the spawn pool, waiting for gold to buy a second Sonyas because you know you can have two Sonyas. That's awesome, and you can you know no, actually they don't stack. But if you want the maximum amount of AP, it's um, it's probably worth getting uh, two of those uh, 120 AP items and you don't want to get two Rabadons that's stupid because the only thing that Rabadon has is 120 AP this is a dummy's guide for League of Legends by the way uh, 120 AP does Rabadon have and un a un unique passive that doesn't stack so you don't want to get it twice but 
Sonic's Hourglass has a um, hundred blah, not hundred, uh, but uh, like some amount of armor um, as well. So it's worth it getting two if if you're playing Earth. So I've got 915 AP. I don't think I've ever had this much AP. Um, and look at this wombo combo. I, I, I have no idea what's going on here. Everyone is just spamming their ults and abilities. I have no idea. Uh, there's a joke about League of Legends and other MOBAs, I guess, uh, that you don't know what the fuck is going on in the game because, if, especially if you're new to the game, um, you know, there's an honest trailer of League of Legends, if you know what that is, and it basically makes fun of the fact that, you know, it's. If you're new to the game and you watch, like, Elsius or something, and you know, it, the commentators are going crazy and all the abilities fly across the map, you know, it's it's not really like watching curling. It's a little bit more distracting. I, I don't know about you guys, what do you think? Leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page if you haven't done that already. Peace!